that's the old figure, this is the new figure, and then did you note the similarities? My name is Jonathan Laws, I teach math at Elk Ridge Middle School. I have a couple questions up here for you, and I'd like you to write those on your whiteboard right now. We felt like we had uh, pretty effective teaching in every classroom, but we wanted to make sure that what we presented in front of the kids was guaranteed from classroom to classroom and very viable, uh, that anybody could teach it, that um, kids could access it and that parents could access it. Let's go ahead and solve this using inverse operations. We made a bunch of videos, actually about 120 videos for uh, eighth grade, made a website where kids can access um, the lesson, they can access the guided notes, um, they can access the assignments, uh, practice tests, and parents can do the same thing. So they know what's coming up, they can check Skyward, they can check the website, they can check the calendar, and things like that. So if they do need some extra help, they can basically access that help anytime they need to. Well, here's where it starts to get kind of interesting. Math is a very difficult subject for most people. Um, it's probably uh, one of the more difficult subjects to teach because everything that goes on in the classroom depends on what happened the day before, the month before, the year before. And so if a kid misses something, it's, it's very difficult to build on, on a, maybe a shaky foundation. So we felt very strongly that kids needed access to what they may have missed, what, what may have been a little bit more difficult for them to cover. Um, so uh, allowing them to access that material anytime that they needed, anytime they needed help, anytime their parents wanted to help them. You know, if they come home on a Friday and say, can I do something? And their parent says, well, let's check your grades first. Um, if they needed some help at that point, they could get it by, by watching those videos. Why do we use letters in math? So think about that for just a second. Why do we use letters in math? Um, so it's just about making things very accessible. We've had kids that have been gone uh, a couple days before a test. They've been sick. Uh, they've come back and they've had all of the assignments done, including the practice test. Walked in the day of the test, handed us the papers, and then gotten a good grade on the test because all that stuff was accessible. So it's really about making the, the learning and the, the material accessible to the kids. Well, let's run through and do this and follow the same pattern. We've been doing this for two years now. Um, we did it with seventh grade two years ago. Last year we did it with eighth grade. Uh, we saw very good results the first year with seventh graders. We saw about double the number of students becoming proficient. It was about a 15% uh, increase in the number of students who were proficient on the end of the year test. Um, and then this year with 7th and 8th grade, uh, we saw about a 20% improvement with 7th graders and about a 15% improvement with 8th graders. Okay, so this point right here, what are you going to label that as? I think one of, the, one of the best things about the grants is um, the money is nice, but to feel like you are valued and appreciated and that, that what you're doing, is, somebody kind of put their stamp on it and said, okay, this makes a difference, and we're willing to support that. Which way does the X that exists? Um, it makes you feel good, it makes me feel good. What's probably the most important thing about the instruction? 